The bugs were nasty last night. That's after it's been power washed. They were gross. Oh, hey, Kyle. Thanks for coming out to the channel. This is our, uh, this is our friend Kyle. He bow fishes with us sometimes. JJ, it's his second time to be on film in three years. This is gonna be a blast. We had never shot. I, I haven't shot common ever in the day. Shot a few buffalo, but we don't day fish much. And it, it really ain't that bad to get out of the wind either, I don't feel like. <laughs> <laughs> it should be pretty windy. <laughs> Chris, what are we gonna do here? Shoot some fish in the face. Oh, he's so aggressive in the mornings, you know? <laughs> in the mornings, he's super aggressive. We're gonna go chase some daytime fish on these flats over here. They were staging last night. They were kind of swimming in pairs. The big females were coming in, but it wasn't like hot and heavy spawn. And so we're hoping with the sun coming up, there it is up, and it's warm right now. It's like 82, 83. We're gonna get away from the cattails, see if we can find them spawning and shoot some daytime fish. We've never done daytime spawn commons either. So, trying to bring some new stuff to the page since you guys think all the other stuff is boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> you were daytime fish, boat fish? Yeah, we have. In Michigan, we would do it a lot, but nothing, I mean, it's nothing gonna be like today. <laughs> Listen, I love Kyle. Dude's like molasses. Look how slow he walks. First time I ever went bow fishing, I shot a fish in the daytime. And uh, this is one of my favorite ways to fish. This water is unlike anything I've ever seen. But these commons in the daytime, especially the sun coming out, they should be trying to get up in here in this grass to lay their eggs and to spawn. And they were staging last night to spawn. That's what they've been doing, staging in the evenings, trying to spawn during the day. So as hot as it is, it should be just killer. thinking you just shot at the wake and it reeled in a bit. Oh no, it's gonna be snapped. Come on. Oh, shoot him again, someone shoot him again. That's a good one. Man, that's a good one. You just sit there, dude. Look, Joe. Oh! Was it? Yeah, knocked his scale off of her. Oh. 
Oh look my at that. Goodness. That is a giant. This we is got all away. pineapple action. It's a nice one, I think. Here we go. You lost another one? Another one, dude. I don't know. Yeah, you got to check those tips. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a bad job. Bro. Yeah, I know. You would have thought you would have remembered. <laughs> <laughs> the first. I'm just saying. One, right? I'm admitting yeah. I'm doing a bad yeah. job about it. What do we got? 32.3. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What do you think, dude? Dude, beat my common record for sure. I wish they were all that stupid, yeah. just sitting there. Look at those eyeballs. Oh, there you go. Thanks, sir. Are you cheating, JJ? I'm gonna turn it long ways. No, I'm adapting. Oh, I'm adapting. Yeah, much straight ahead. A bunch of them. Right, right there. freaking awesome filled the boat up shot a bunch of really big females and we want to come out here and do a day episode it's super windy but we're able to get out of the wind a little bit um it's a pain in the butt driving the airboat in the wind for sure because it blows you around like a big sail but uh we're up here chasing these big females these fish are so destructive these lakes one thing they they eat root systems which causes the lakes to be super muddy and there's actually pictures on the internet where you see a lake with common carp and then when they eradicated them the difference in them and there's just like night and day like blue clear water and then just muddy as can be and these lakes are pretty clear but where these commons are all at shadow they muddy it up especially when they spawn and uh, they just tear up the ecosystem big time so we're having a blast out here removing them we're saving the walleye and bass and pike and one fish at a time so but uh we're gonna keep shooting and fill the boat huh? a big big one right here to the right right here straight front straight front straight down straight down left 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 left, 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 left. Dude, that's a good fish, too. Oh, holy crap. Back up? Back up? Yep. Yeah. Oh, not my boat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to shoot the boat. That's the biggest fish we've shot. She's pushing 40, I bet you. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a giant. Down. This is why we're here. That's a giant. It's almost more fun. Oh. Oh, get oh. there. 39? Three. Yeah. <laughs> Grab that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see when you shot her? She went straight half out of the water. Well, broke my record. Dude, that's a unit. This is what we actually They're getting for. bigger. Oh, my goodness. Move your hand back. I'm up to bat. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, what a shot! <laughs> Another giant in front of him. Come over the top. Go to the top. Good shot, that dude. Was, that was so nasty. Did you get that? <laughs> oh, baby. Hold it down. Such oh, a good fish. Oh. Bigger. Oh, that's a fish. Right. Such a good fish. Nice. They are not small at all. Get a little TNT a plug right here. She's hitting these freaking 25, 30 pound commons with one barb. Dragging them underneath the boat, through the grass. People ask us all the time. What oh, area do you shoot? Oh, when it's big fish or soft fish, TNT. The only way to go. Right there, straight down. Yeah, good shot. Right here, right here. Oh god, this is that one! Holy crap! Dude, if we just fish slow, we would fill a boat with the swamp. Oh my goodness! We found the females! Big fish right there. Nice shot, that JJ. Nice Come shot. Up front. Oh my god. I mean, we're legitimately passing 35 pound fish because we've seen some giants in here. So now we're just chasing like a 45 or a 50 because there are some huge ones in here. So this right here is 34. That we've seen. Oh yeah, she is big. She is. We found this hole and it is chock full of big females. They're all over 25, 30 pounds. They're all just big. But we've seen a couple of toads, so now we're those guys. When we first got here, we shot anything with a belly. Then we got a little more selective. Now we're passing 30s and 35s, looking for 40s, 45s, and that Mongo 50. That's a beautiful fish. That is a cute fish. conditions it's just so difficult they're just right here and you're just clicking record there's no telling of the amount of footage that Ryan's gonna be having to weed through just to get a good shot so hopefully all the footage that we got uh, we know there's a, a few good shots I mean there's the winds and bats so no telling what the audio sounds like but anyways hopefully it turns out to be a good episode we've had an absolute blast today one of the funnest days I've ever had fishing two times this year we've caught you know spawning fish so it's been a blast We came, we saw, we conquered. We had a freaking blast. Absolute blast. If it had been windy, we could have sunk the boat. Our friend uh, Chris is starting a YouTube channel. Make sure you check what? him out. Chris is starting a channel? Yeah. Are we gonna drop Chris. a link? Yeah. We'll drop a link. So Riley's starting one. Chris being my cameraman. That's a man. <laughs> Sunscreen's a myth, by the way. They <laughs> lied to you in school. We will see y'all. Oh my God. Oh, that's not good for film. You have to edit that. <laughs> <laughs> In the video, JJ, just edit it.